Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Um, what's the hardest part about all this rap stuff? What you hate the most? What I hate the most about the rap is, um, the promotional part. I mean, I, I ain't gonna say that, but, cause I like to promote, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, then these hoops and hurt, these hoops, you know, and hurt is you gotta go through to try to get heard, you know what mm. I'm saying? This shit not as easy as all the time, like people think it is. Is it you frustrating? Sometimes it gets frustrating. Sometimes it gets frustrating and then spending money, you know, in, in the wrong places when you think it's the right places. They're right, they're gonna get you, man. <laughs> you gotta be ready though, man. You gotta be ready, dog, mentally and you know, financially. Mm. But that's for anything though. Man, that's a that's a grind. You ever that's like that's like, man, you book you book some studio time for an artist and you drive three hours to get there. Right. And the artists don't show up. <laughs> and they bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you just spent the money on a couple hours, all that, to book the studio. Gas getting down here. They don't show up. And then you gotta drive back home. That's a bad feeling. That's a bad feeling. But man. it's a I done been, I'm saying that because I done went through it. But then I, I say, you know what? This is just a part of the game. It's a part of the game, man, with anything you do. It's just, bro. you know. This is just something that I can just talk about years later. But now, like, I mean, stuff can happen, but it's a, it's a part of the story. Like, I done paid my dues. I'm still paying my dues. You done paid your dues, too. So I, I understand, man, for sure. It's a lot of people, bro. Like, it's just that's just by life, period. You can't expect everybody to be like you are on what you own. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I value what you value. Like, you valuing it. You trying to get it in. Like, I need this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's like, he emailed today. Like, man, we need this interview. You know what I'm saying? We need to go work with him. Yeah. But, man, that's just with anything, man. It's going to be some losses. It's going to be, man, I done had boys that jack me for verses and everything, you know, that took my money. Oh, you should. They ain't give me my verse, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, and then you got to think about, like, okay, you're not a crash out artist no more. So how you going to go about getting this and you don't have no contract or nothing? Just, man, you got to. There's a lot of stuff you got to swallow, man. Yeah. You know what Ooh, I'm saying? So was it the most hurtful part of it? The most hurtful part is when you think, that these artists is, you know what I'm saying, own what you own, or this might be a real individual and you ain't really coming like that. You know what I'm saying? So you done paid for a verse and I have. We I ain't have. gotta say no names. We ain't gotta say <laughs> nah, no names. You know, and they know what I be on, I know what they be on, and you know, we, it'll be a it'll be it'll be a real wreck, but you that's you know, with the game, you know How what much? I'm it wasn't too much, but the principle. It's the principle. The principle and the respect that I have for the artist. You know what I'm saying? I respect. Oh, it was it. a respected artist. Yeah, to me, you know. But mm. I any, done been through it. Any part of the game made you shed a tear yet? Nah. Almost. Nah, I mean, as but besides losing, losing artists that I was grinding with, or or or, or you know. We was working together with the same dream. Nah, that's about it, though. You know, like, people, you know, got potential or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And they just lose focus or get out of the game, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That hurt right there. But as far as, the, you know, the, this business-wise thing or whatever, man, it, just, it is what it is, man. You got some people, they just going to be the worker. You got some people going to be the boss. Mm -hmm. you, you, know, you know you, know you got to work to get where you going, but you know what you really want to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't have that mentality. That's why we taking the losses that we be taking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't have that mentality. We ain't settling though. No. So it, it don't it don't bother me because I be looking for shit like that. Man. No, so so I'm assuming with this mindset that you have, like, you don't really get off until the younger guys with the music. Cause they be on some different type of time. Man, they, they, I like them little, I like them little niggas, man, them little niggas be, they be talking some shit, but they just how they is, you know what I'm saying? But to me, pretty much, 
pretty much, man, if you working and you try, you understanding what it what it is and you trying to do something, man, I'll work with you. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, them, them young them young dudes. I like them little youngsters, man, when they be when they do they shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I wish I would have been doing what I wanted to do back then, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But Pretty much, if you trying to grind and do it, you know, unless you, unless you, I, I mean, unless you telling or yeah, if you, <laughs> you, doing that, yeah. you rapping about some shit that you not doing, then I don't really work with them type of people. But I like them little niggas, man. They be doing they shit. They just different from us. They younger than us is is just different. I don't, do I condone and everything they do? Nah, mm -hmm. but I was them before. Man, mm. who if you if you were if you wanted to do if you had the opportunity to do your dream feature. Any artist in the world, dead or alive, Michael Jackson, Big, and whoever. Man, that's hard. Who, who, I, like, who, who would that person be? Man, that's hard, bro, cause I'm, I'm a real music fanatic. You know what I'm saying? And I like a lot of underdogs too. Yeah. I'm gonna say but, two. Uh, I'm gonna say two, not one, two. I'm gonna give you two. Man. I ain't heard him. I ain't heard him this quiet the whole interview. <laughs> Cause I want to do music with everybody, man. Yeah. But of course, you know legends like Pac and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, Pac um, sound cliche though. I'm talking about. I mean, don't get me wrong. No disrespect to Pac, the greatest ever. But I'm saying, an uh, artist that's dear to you. I, I, man, if I had the opportunity to do a song with this person, this is why. This is the person. Man, if I if I could just shoot on something right now, not to miss out on nobody, but I got to get a piece of that boy Mizzy. I gotta I gotta work with him. In Sacramento Mizzy? I got to work with Mizzy, man. I mm. gotta work with him. I gotta work with him and I want it to be my work because I wanna bring him out there. You know what I'm I saying? Did, I interviewed Mizzy a few years ago at yeah. Trade Day. Yeah, I gotta work with Mizzy. Cool man. cat out of Sacramento. I think he with CMG, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah, he with him. Mm. He would I gotta work with Mizey though, man. Why Mizey? I love that boy at work, man. That boy just do something to me. He do something to me. I gotta catch him. Mm. Him, and if I could have did something with Mo 3. Oh, man. <laughs> and I ain't gonna look at him because he had it lined up and I was bullshitting, but yeah, man. What? Hold on, no. We about to talk about this. <laughs> We about to talk, I, I, cause I just—it's crazy. I just recently interviewed a guy from Mississippi, but he live in Dallas. His name A Ray. He has a record on Mo3 Legend record. It's called. Um, it, that's the dude with the dread. Yes. Yeah, we met him. Um, we met him in Houston. We had a, did a show out there in Houston at the trail ride. He was out there. Remember the old buddy did his song with Mo3? Yeah, wow, we met him before. I don't know if you remember, but we ain't really running, but we, we just, ran across him. He just did a, um, he had a placement with, with, with him. But you mean to tell me this man had you lined up with Mo3 to do a record and you didn't go? I ain't follow through with it. You know, that's just thinking that that shit gonna be there. <laughs> that shit don't be there all the time, man. God, no. Shit, Mo3, the baby. I interviewed the baby too. I met him in, in South by Southwest. Yeah, when he was chopping stuff up before he went, he, he was he was a lot like before a he ticket. was popping, popping. And you, he was the visionary behind that. Yeah. And you said, <laughs> "Oh man, well, yeah, I missed that, man." It, I mean, things happen, but now I'm, I'm assuming that when your manager has his eye on the next big thing or the next person, that means that he know talent. Yeah, he knows for sure. Ain't that mm -hmm. soon? That's wild. But I got a chance. I got a chance to meet Mo three before he passed. I met him at number seven in um in Houston. He was shooting an interview. I mean, he was shooting a video with this guy from New Orleans named um Young Chris. The, the year the real, the year the real. That's that's the campaign he was going off, and I got a chance to meet him the first time. Now I've seen Mo three a lot of different times. Baby bottom of the Shreveport. And I went and um, did some um, footage for that set. I seen Mo3 at, at um, South by Southwest, walking down the street a few times, got some more footage before I just meeting him. Yeah. I met him at that video shoot. And that boy, I, I, I like all the Dallas artists, you know what I'm saying? Dallas tough. Whatever they may have going on out there, yeah, that's, they that's what they got going on. I like all the more, you know, that boy was really 
raw, man. Yeah, with the scene. Boy, really raw, then he talk that same shit I be on. Yeah, yeah. So, you, you know. Mm. But for the people who don't even know who you are, and I ask a lot of people this, like, when they hear your record, you might get a new a new listener after they see this interview, whoever they might be. What should they be expecting to hear from Mr. Chris? Man, they gonna hear pain, they gonna hear hustle, they gonna hear something that's gonna gonna make them feel good and go about their day yeah. well. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just basically stuff you might go through every day or might have went through or something you gonna see. Something you could jam for the next 20 years for sure. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't do too much shoot 'em up, bang, bang. It might be in there a little bit, but it's real life stories.